I'm glad that's me. I'm glad that you decided to leave Islam. Wonderful. You are calling different Muslim. Hello? 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 Yes, my friend. What you Hello? You are a Muslim, right? Yes. All right. What would you like to say to us? We are live on air. How are you? I'm fine. Is your prophet a prophet? What do you think? Uh, yes, sir. He is. Why he is? Um, hold on. One minute. One minute before we start with this. Um, I just want to ask you, uh, uh, who do you believe uh, wrote the Quran? Who I believe he wrote the Quran? Yeah. Who do you believe wrote the Quran? Well, the Quran answer us. It says it is the word of a, of a decent prophet. So Muhammad is the one who wrote the Quran, according to the Quran. Okay, okay. Um, all right, all right. So you think... Um, no, read with me. How... Chapter, because I don't like to say things without proof. Chapter 69, verse number 40. Chapter 81, verse number 19. It says it is the words of a honorable prophet. The Muslims, they, you know, like they... Uh, 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 they, they, put, they put between two brackets Jibreel, but the fact nowhere Jibreel it says the messenger Allah messenger is what Allah speaking of so it is the word of honorable messenger is the in the Quran is... in the Quran Allah hmm. says that Muhammad was illiterate he didn't even know how to read no, so nowhere the Quran says Muhammad is illiterate we will go there after we finish this is the Quran the word mm -hmm. of Allah or the Quran is the word of the angel, or the Quran is the word of Muhammad. What do you think? Word of Allah. Okay, so chapter 69, verse number 40, it says, This is verily the word of honored messenger. Before that, probably Muhammad has said something. No and problem. Then he said Muhammad. No, no, my friend, this is a Quran. This is a Quran. This is always a Quran. And then it says, This is the word of honorable messenger. Okay, what's before that? You can read what before it. He is, is giving you lecture about uh, this and that, and you know, do this, don't do that, etc. And then but, yeah, yeah, that's okay. What so Salaam is telling us. So this is Quran, but now it's Quran. Yeah, Allah is saying this what? is what Muhammad peace be upon him said. But so so Muhammad did not receive this revelation from Allah. So why it's in the Quran? He, because that will make it Hadith. If it is a hadith, is Muhammad saying, don't do this, don't do that? That's meaning Allah there is not talking. Okay. Um, yeah, can I, I have a question? What, 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 do we want to skip this one now? Let us try to find the answer, my friend. Before we go, no problem. I, I did answer. I did answer. I no, you did not answer. You did not answer. If you say this is Muhammad, that's mean the Quran. But this is the Quran, so you just admitted that the Quran is a word written by Muhammad. You're you're not even reading what was said before that. But read, okay, read, go ahead, read, read as much as you want. So what? I can't see him on the call. Open uh, chapter sec, 69, have... my friend, open chapter 69, and read any verses you want until 40. There's not the problem. It one says, sec, I, uh, it says that, I, that I have to that go, this... I'm going somewhere. Oh, you I'm have to go home. now. Uh, no, no, I'm not going. I'm not scared of you, man. Just okay. yo, chill. Right. I'm not leaving. Uh, I have to go in like, what, 15 minutes? I have to go. Let me just, I, I want to, uh, I have a question I don't understand, all right? All right, go ahead. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. how, is, uh, how is Jesus God and he doesn't know the hour? Well, that's a great, a great question. How Jesus is God, he do not know the hour. So the one who do not know the hour, he can't be God, correct? Yes. Well, the same chapter you are reading from, you will see that Jesus, he told them what will happen exactly and when the hour will come. We Christians do not believe in the predestiny, which means the more we sin, the more, the faster the hour come. And Jesus says, only my father, which means he have the decision because he is the father. That's why we call him the father. So Jesus, he said, I've been given the power over the flesh. It is to my father to announce the hour, not to me. So we believe in the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It is the job of the Father to announce the hour because he is the one in charge. For me, I am the judge in the judgment day. And the same chapter Jesus said, this is what happen, and this is what happen, and this is what happen. And when all of those things happen, I will come to you. So Jesus, he knew about the hour, but the one who will announce it is God. In the same time, with God the Father. Okay. In the same time, so... hold on, hold on, hold on. 
What kind yeah. of God? What kind of God? You are the one who agreed with me that God is the one who know the hour. You said yes, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. How, what kind of God? He says the moon is split and the and the judgment day is near and nothing happened. Do your God okay. know your power? You... Yeah. Well, no. Because he says that iqtarabat is sad. The word iqtarabat in Arabic means not only near, it's almost in the corner. You're a prophet, he says, liyushikna Isa. Almost Isa, he will come and he will be up, he will be here, you know, and that will be the sign of the judgment day. And Isa did not come. And this was 1400 years ago. If we go right now to the hadith, if we ask you, who is the one who told Muhammad that Isa will come very, very soon? You will say to me, who? You will say, Allah told him, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, read with me carefully, it says, and this is Sahih. I By, can't see anything because I'm on my no phone. No problem, I can, I can read for you, my friend, no problem. By the, yeah. one, by the one whose hands is my soul, Ibn Maryam, the son of Mary, shall soon descend among you judging just, justly he shall break the cross and kill the pig jesus is going to be a cowboy will fight pigs no problem but did he say which means extremely soon not only soon very soon i i know why i know why huh. in the uh, in the quran yeah. 80 percent so far 80 percent of what's in the quran has been proven a hundred percent correct. Eighty percent of it is a hundred percent correct. You, give me the other twenty percent. No, no, is no. Unknown. Hold on, hold on. You see, don't give me numbers. Eighty percent, uh, my friend. Give me one proven to be true. A lot. Okay, a give lot. me, give me one prophecy in the Quran come to be true, or one more. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. He, uh. One of them was he said that iron didn't even come from Earth. He said it came from like meteors or something. All right. What? Well, like not too long ago, we knew that okay. meteors, okay. iron came from meteors. Okay, hold on, guys. Uh, Allah in the Quran, He says iron did not come from the earth; is coming from uh, 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 from the sky, from the space. Correct? Yeah. But is that true? Uh, it was proven to be yes. No, my friend. If you go right was now, it, I, my friend, my friend, the, the 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 volcano, the volcano have something called magma. Correct? Okay. Most of the volcano magma is iron. So how we have no iron except the one coming from the sky when the magma, the core of the earth, is full of iron. How there is no iron, the Quran, if we if we go if we go and read the Quran, you will see that Allah He says, Wa hadith. But why you Muslim you, you why you don't read what is before? It says Allah He sent down the book. Did Allah send really a book, printed book? Allah he sent down the justice. Allah he sent down the scale to measure. Did Allah send the scale? No. And then we we, we send down the iron. So that's not about iron sending. Allah saying to you that everything creation you have is made by us. But I will go with you now because now that will become a mistake. Because did Allah send the iron to who? To mankind, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So mankind is there, correct? Yeah. Okay, so isn't it the blood of Adam have iron? So if there was no iron, and then Allah, he sent iron with the rain. Did Adam, he drink water and he get iron in his blood? If there's no iron in the blood, we will not live, we will die. Anyone have deficiency, little deficiency in iron, he is going to be sick. If he have no iron at all in his blood, he is dead. Wait, I'm not, it, it, was it iron or was it something else? Iron, not sure no, if, iron, is that iron, my friend, iron. iron, you can go right now and read about how and what is the percentage of iron in our blood. And if we don't have iron, we are dead. <laughs> so, so Allah, he sent iron to the mankind. and But mankind doesn't really exist and they have iron in their blood. So if there is no iron, where is the iron coming from in their blood? <laughs> and remember, Adam was created from dust, correct? Mm -hmm. So from dust to dust you go, my friend. No, no. What do you mean no? Created from... What, uh, he was created from clay. Well, isn't it the clay is a dust mixed with water? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. Look at these losers in the comments. <laughs> okay, don't, don't talk about the... Uh, a bunch focus, of losers. Focus, my friend, focus. These guys have nothing to do. They it's okay, it's okay, comments. my friend. Guys, be nice, be nice, please. 
Yo, look, look, look. My Hold friend, up, my friend. Don't, You're like, don't listen, make a, listen. Don't make, you know what's don't funny? Make a drama. You know what's funny? Don't make a drama. One sec, one sec. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, don't make a drama listen, about listen. comment. You're talking to me. You're talking to me. Listen, You're, listen. I heard you today. You were making fun of Zach and Nayak when you're the one sitting on your laptop waiting for random people on Skype. You should be ashamed of yourself. What? Zach and Nayak actually gets up in front of millions and talks to people. I'm, I'm like, getting in front of millions, you see? I am number one person Indonesian people listen to in, around the world. So I yeah, am the online. one who millions speak to, listen to me, and you're Zach and Nayak don't dare to debate me. You should be ashamed of himself. Who care about going? I'm not going anywhere. I, I sit to wear no, my shorts. Nobody... My, my friend, my friend, my friend. Hold, hold on. Don't, don't give me this drama. Either you have answers for what I said or you don't. Do you have answers? You don't. So don't cry for you cannot answer. The excuse if I go, don't go. I travel, I don't travel. That I'm not a prophet. I do not need to prove myself. And none of you can debate with me. Yo, so now, nobody talks I have to a you because you're... Nobody, I have a, nobody I have cares a challenge about... for you. I have a challenge for you. Do okay. you dare to call your your sheikh right now and put him on air live with us? Now. <laughs> yo, you're... Yo, yo. Do you, like, do you realize how, like, embarrassing you are? I'm just getting embarrassing. Yeah. Embarrassing is you. I'm a challenge in all your sheikh and you don't dare to be dead me. And when you call me, I get you busted in two seconds. Let us take who's next. <laughs> how embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ahmad, do you want me to call him again? Let us see. Hello? Yes, Ahmad. Sorry about that, CP. My yeah. internet just stopped off. Yeah, so it's okay. Did, did, you, did you hear the guy saying that Zach Kernak, he speak to everybody? I don't. <laughs> yeah, he was being does, really stupid. Does Zach Kernak dare to open his Skype to anyone to call, including me? Do he dare? You don't. I have my Skype open for anyone. I don't yeah. know who's going to call me. I don't know if he's a scholar. I do not know if he's a smart. I don't know if yeah. he's a genius. I don't know if he is going to. Uh, I'm, I'm not afraid of C anyone. CP, when he mentioned the verse about iron, I knew you were about to bust him. <laughs> I will bust him anything they say, my friend. But Ahmad, don't laugh. I got you busted too. <laughs> but that's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter what you say. This is why they don't debate yeah. me, my friend. It doesn't matter what you say. They will get busted. You know, the Muslim, they made an article about how to debate Christian prince. They said, if a Christian, even if a Christian prince, he said to you, the prophet was a great man, don't say yes. And don't say no. Because whatever you say, he will get you busted. So how in the world yeah. does people debate me? So this is what they do. They are just copy-paste machine. Nobody want to read. Nobody yeah. want to see. They are blind people. They are copy paste. The Quran is a joke. The, who is the one who wrote the Quran? Uh, Allah. Okay. Why the Quran says this is the word of an honorable messenger? Uh, read the verses before. It. Okay, go ahead. Read them. Read them. <laughs> so and and if and if the Quran was sent by messenger or this is the word of honorable messenger. Let's say for the sake of argument, this is debris. But this means the Quran is made by debris, not by Allah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a comedy! <laughs> I'm not Man. sure what to call it comedy or drama. You know, you tell me. <laughs> this is uh, it, it's a it's a mix of both. It's a mix of both. Like that person who just called you. He was kind of like me. He's, he was being ignorant. Like he, like you bust him, and he was still denied. You know, uh, Allah, Allah, He sent down feather. The Quran says, وَأَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْهُمْ لِبَاسٍ وَرِيشٍ Allah, He sent down clothes and, and feather on us. Why? Somebody told Allah that all of us were Indian. <laughs> we, were, we were feather. You know, like, the, I, I understand that Indian people, American Indian, they would put feather in their head. But Allah, He says, لِبَاسٍ وَرِيشٍ Like, what the heck? I never wear feather, you know? And the funny, uh, when the Muslims, they translate, the best and warish, they take they take away the word the feather. I mean, why you are taking why you are taking away the word? You know, why what yeah. they say? Uh, 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 let, let, let us see if we go in the Quran. Let us find the translation because it's hilarious. You will find ninety nine point nine of the Muslim translation. They take off the word feather. 
I don't know why, you know. The Muslims, anyone can tell me why you speak Arabic, Ahmad? Does it say so? Atukum Warisha? Allah, He sent down my underwear and it, it was made from feather. Oh, man. You know? And if we read in the, in the translation, the word feather is gone. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us change. This is chapter 7, verse 26. Let us see. Ch uh, go to uh, <coughs> Victor. <laughs> man, feather. I can't believe it. Feather. Uh -huh. Okay. And then, uh, <clears throat> children of Adam, we have revealed unto you the re remnant, and to cancel your shame, like, where, where is the feather? Where is the clothes? Revealed? <laughs> Clothing is revealed? We have revealed, uh, and the way became revelation. Look at the translation. It says, we revealed into you. The clothing is revelation. And what, what happened to the feather? They took it off because they want to cover by the feather, the stupidity of Muhammad. Allah, he sent down feather, brother. Allah, Allah. Are you sure you sent feather, Allah? Absolutely. <laughs> Man. Look, all translation, no feather. Allah, he pro uh, 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 look and look at the first translation. It says, "And we have provided for you clothing." Yeah, it doesn't the say translation that. It says, is not. Anzalna, anzalna alaykum. We send down on you clothing to cover your parts and feather. Liars, they have no shame, and they corrupt their book just to cover the stupidity of a so-called prophet his name is muhammad they don't want you to read they don't want you to see that this is cannot be from god this is an idiot god did not send feather and we are not a chicken yeah you see if we are a chicken i will say okay well allah he covered us by feather but did any of you muslim have a picture of himself when he was a baby he was covered by feather because maybe you were born with covered with feather and then your mom she took the feather away <laughs> anyway Ahmed, there is anything you want to say my friend <laughs> yeah i just want to say like yeah thank you cp like i'm not don't thank so you, my friend don't thank me i want you to accept jesus come on i want you to be saved I want you to come I, to Christ. I want you to be. I want you to be with us in the heaven of the Lord. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, like I just have to do my own research. I just gotta. You know what I mean? I have to read it and understand it myself. All right. But like, yeah, for me. But Ahmed, I, 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 I'm going to make a threat for you. If you don't accept Jesus, I will take all the feather cover in you now. <laughs> 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 All right, Ahmed. Thank you, my friend, for calling. I hope soon you will you will see the truth and you will accept the Messiah as your Lord. And I will be happy to take you any time to answer you about some questions. You know, maybe I will be able to help you to accept. The Messiah. I just have I just have one question, CP. All right. How come, like on YouTube, like because I, I honestly I always look up like Christianity versus Islam debates. How come always? The person who is defending Christianity, they always like somehow lose. They just, do you get what I mean? No, you see, there's nothing. Let us say, you see, debate is a gift. It's not just anyone. Number one, you have to have knowledge. So most of those people, they are not people of knowledge. And secondly, uh, you will see as an example, uh, uh, that the most famous one, right? Yes, you see that yeah, yeah, I watched is, a lot of these yeah, videos. You see, Didat is the most stupid ones to, to defeat in two seconds. When he debated the Arabic Christian, he lost immediately. And he refused to show up for the second debate. So the Muslims always, they choose, they debate who? Can't you tell? They are running away from me, but they will debate anyone they think that they can make it look like they have a victory. So let us say they choose their customer. You know, this is not a debate. Yeah, we, that's if, not true, if we look, especially if we look, in speakers' corners. 
All of them, Especially. all of them, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Yeah. Speaker corner, anyway. If you are an American blonde or etc., a person who do not know much about Islam, all of them, they want to debate you. But when it's come to someone like me, and I hope in the future we will have thousands and millions like me, the Muslims will leave Islam. So Christians never lose. Never lose. Because the truth is not about them, it's not about me, it's not about you. For we have a Christ, and Christ is the one who will never let himself lose. He is the truth. He said, I am the way, I am the door, I am the truth. So how he lose? Even you, even the Sunni Muhammad, he said that the Messiah will come, and when the Dajjal, he see him, he will dissolve like salt. This is how powerful the Messiah is. So don't blame, let us say, a weakness of somebody on Christ because most of those people they are not used to Muslims Muslims are aggressive Muslims they try to intimidate you and those people are not used to this you know so the Muslim they cannot intimidate me they will never be able actually they are intimidated by me is the opposite that's why this Uthman you mentioned his name he is coward he don't dare to let me even call him all of them they are intimidated but when they speak to a nice Christian who is just trying to, to explain to them things, they try their best to intimidate him or to make a mockery of them. I'm a person, nobody can make mockery of me because in a second yeah. I will whip the floor with you if you try to do so. So they are not gifted, many of them, but always there is somebody is gifted. He can make Muhammad Shish Kebab and we yeah. are, and I, am, I am a living proof. That's why, that's why I wanted my uh, Sheikh to give you a call. I wanted it so badly. Will never sometimes happen. will never happen. It didn't happen. Yeah, will never, will never that's happen. That's why when it didn't, that's why when it didn't happen, when he, when he refused it, I started to doubt myself. Correct, because you ask yourself, okay, what he will lose anyway if he is, uh, if he is saying the truth and he is, yeah. you know, uh, he's convincing. He knows. I mean, this is not a guy who do not know. So Christian Prince, he can say something and let us say, uh, uh, you know, make him confused. This is a scholar support. This is a big shake. He is the one. And he said to you, this is what we are here for, right? Yeah. <laughs> but when we need him, he's not, you know, this guy is like the guy who worked for the fire department. He work only when there's a snow. <laughs> <laughs> when there's a fire, he never comes when out. When there's a fire, he says, this is not my, ex my expertise. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right, my friend. CP, do you recommend uh, do you recommend any good like Christian versus Muslim debate or something along those lines? Well, I mean, there is uh, there is you know good people who, especially about the Bible, I would like recommend uh, Sam Shamoon is good. You know, uh, who? Uh, Sam Shamoon. You don't know him, Sam Shamoon? No. You can search his. You know, people they can post his link for you in YouTube. You know, he's very good. He is very well versed in the Bible, and he is a very uh, smart person. But, you know, I cannot really recommend uh, people because I believe that the Lord, he opened your heart and he will guide you. Just ask him to lead you where to go and you are. The same as what happened to you. You listen to Uthman who was insulting me, even though Uthman is speaking of the devil, the Lord, he made Uthman a leading sign for you to come to me. And here we go. You left Islam. So Uthman ibn Farooq, he never imagined that when he make a mockery of a Christian prince because he's a coward, he don't know how to deal with me. I get him busted already many times. So he made mockery, but he never thought that his mockery would make many Muslims search and look for a Christian prince to watch his videos and they will end leaving Islam like yeah. happened to you. So because that's how I found you, because on his Twitter he says he mentioned you as like a Christian princess or princess Christian, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, he says I'm wearing burqa, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like thinking like he must be someone pretty like big if, if he's mentioning them. And then I just watched some of your videos. I'm like, wow, that's what it really is. That's what's like yeah some of these things you've shown on screen and with reference and things like that it's just like really shocking yeah and there's, you know, always, not, always remember yeah. forget about this guy anyway 
But always remember, there is people that can be good in thing and they are not good in other thing. As an example, there is somebody might be he is a good teacher for the Bible, but he is not a debater. Debate when you debate, especially if you don't know, you see, like you call me, I do not know what you will say to me, right? Yeah. So when you want to do such a thing, this is a big challenge to the brain, my brain, because how in the world I'm going to get the answer in the speed of second? I mean, the guy is just talking. I put it in the screen, correct? So. In order to do that, you have to be very, very gifted with knowledge. Let us say you have a very fast processor brain. And yeah. on top of that, the most important, the Lord is our victory. So by the Lord, I depend on him, not only on me, for I believe everything I have is a gift from him at the end of the day. So if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? So some Christians, yeah. they go to fight the devil without having arms in their hands. An arm here is not a sword. Arms here is knowledge, true knowledge about the Bible. So secondly, confidence. Number three, knowledge about the enemy, the devil. If you do not know who is the devil, how you can talk about the devil? How you can fight the devil? It's like now today we want to fight a virus, but we do not know anything about this virus. That is mission impossible. So the, the, the Bible order us to read, to search, to find the truth and the truth will set you free. So a Christian when I debate Muslims should not should know yeah. about what they believe, not only about what he believes. Same time, he should not allow them to intimidate him. Most of those on speaker corners, actually just a few days ago, I said the word, I said potatoes, you know, why? Because some uh, two Christians were talking to a Muslim and the Muslim is schooling them about ethic. And those two, which I call them potatoes, they were like, okay, you know, okay, well, Muhammad, oh, okay. Yeah, that's so, what I mean. Like, so, those are sort of the videos yeah. I watch that make, like, wow, Christ Christianity. Yeah, so, so why, why those to... a Christian, they don't say to him, your, your prophet is a child molester. Your prophet says, go and bite the penis of your father. Your prophet, why well, you are quiet, sitting there like, 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 like a potato. So, her friend, those are not, and they should not be there. So, we don't judge Christianity by somebody who know nothing. They are just, you know, let us say good Christians, trying to give the good news about Jesus. But they are not the beaters, obviously, and they do not know and they don't have much knowledge. Especially if they're trying to debate against Muslim, because I know, like, Arabs, are, they're very aggressive. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, they can they can say whatever they want. And, uh, but in the end of the day, uh, like sometimes, like when I'm watching, like when I'm watching Christian, best, like like in the speaker's corners, I'm like, like even though I'm a Muslim, I, I, I say to myself, I can defend Christianity better than they can defend it. You are right, actually. You, are you right. get what I mean? I mean, yeah, they are, because they, they, are, they are not really, they are not qualified. You see, this is, uh, this is a speaker corner, it's a street, anyone jumped there and he's supposed to, he's yeah. like, suddenly he's a Christian. And maybe, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, but even those Muslims and maybe those Christians, None of them he practice what he is talking about. It it is mostly it's a it's a it's a place to shout and kids talk, but no professional talk and no real debate is happening. And Muslims they are the best in mockery, you know. So they yeah. try to intimidate you, like you know they 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 did hit a woman. Her name is Hatun, you know. They hit her. Yeah, yeah, but, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. So so this is who they are, you know. They are not really defending Islam. They are cowards trying to defend Muhammad by intimidation. And all of this doesn't work with me. And now, actually, we will have many, many people will be graduated from the school of a Christian prince, and they will make Muhammad falafel before even, without using oil, they will fry him. <laughs> yeah. That, so yeah. anyway, thank you, Ahmed. We will see if I can yeah. take one more call. And, no worries. Uh, thank you, CP. All right. Thank you, yeah, man. You have will, a good day. All right. We will pray for you. We will pray for you and for the people of uh, Yemen. Uh, the Muslim is there. Uh, to end the war there and the evil of Islam stop, wherever Islam goes, war come. And we pray that all the Muslims, all your family, they will find the truth and the truth will set them free. And this is the good thing about Christ. He said, love your enemy, bless those who curse you. So my friend Ahmed, we say, may the Lord bless your family, bless your mother, bless your father, bless, bless your ch uh, children if you have any. May the Lord bless all people who they love the truth, for Jesus is the truth. And the second you love the truth, you are in love with Jesus for no truth except Jesus. God bless you, my friend, and I hope to hear from you soon. Take care.
Thank you, CP. You have a good day, all right, man? Bye-bye. <laughs>